Hello everyone. Today we are going to check out some new AI models that is groundbreaking for the AI development in the market. AI voice model and Mamba architecture, language model, both are very exciting stuffs for me. If you have followed my content for a while, you are noticing that I pay attention to Mamba development. I think it is the most suitable architecture that make open source AI model able to run on local device and AI voice model Well, almost we use it every single day. So let's dive in. F5 TTS stands for fairy tailor that fakes fluent and faithful speech with flow matching. It's a mouthful I know, but it's revolutionizing how we approach text to speech synthesis. So what makes F5 TTS special? First off, it's a fully non-auto regressive system. That means it generates speech all at once rather than piece by piece. It's based on a technique called flow matching and uses something called a diffusion transformer or DIT for short. One of the coolest things about F5 TTS is how it simplifies the whole TTS process. It ditches complex components like duration models, text encoders, and phoneme alignment. Instead, it uses a brilliantly simple approach. It just pads the text input with filler tokens to match the length of the speech. Genius, right? To refine the text representation and align it better with speech, F5 TDS employs Convnex. This helps the model understand the text better and produce more natural sounding speech. Now, let's talk text specs. F5 TDS is built on principles of conditional flow, matching, and optimal transport. It uses a diffusion transformer as its backbone and incorporates Convia Next V2 blocks for enhanced temporal modeling. The researchers trained it on a massive 100k hour multilingual dataset called Amelia. One of the most impressive features is its inference speed. F5 TTS achieves a real-time factor of 0.15, which is a fancy way of saying it's really fast compared to other state-of-the-art diffusion-based TTS models. During training, F5 TTS learns from a text-guided speech and filling task. It uses character-level input, alphabets for English, pinyin for Chinese, and pads it with filler tokens. They also use a technique called classifier-free guidance to balance fidelity and diversity in the generated speech. For inference, F5 TTS introduces a novel strategy called sway sampling. This significantly improves the model's performance and efficiency, and the best part, it can be applied to existing flow matching models without retraining. F5 TTS isn't just fast and efficient, it's also incredibly capable. It shows impressive zero-shot ability, meaning it can generate speech for unseen text and speakers. It can seamlessly switch between languages in the same sentence, and you can even control the speed of the generated speech. The researchers put F5 TTS through its paces, testing it on multiple datasets including LibriSpeech and CTTS test sets. The results? It outperformed previous models in naturalness, intelligibility, and speaker similarity. Perhaps the most exciting part for us in the AI community is that the researchers have open-sourced all their code and checkpoints. This means we can all experiment with F5 TTS and build upon their work. Check out my other channel that focus on tutorial and AI tools. I uploaded a demo of setup and run F5 TTS on the recent video. Next, we're going to check out a new release language model that is using Mamba. Zamba, a new 7 billion parameter language model that's doing things differently by combining state space models, SSMs, with transformers. Instead of relying solely on transformers like most models, Zamba mixes it up, aiming to compete with top tier open weight models. Zamba's trained on 1 trillion tokens from openly available datasets, no proprietary data, which is refreshing in today's AI world. What sets Zamba apart is that it's being called the best non-transformer model at its scale. This could signal a shift in how we think about building powerful AI systems. Let's talk architecture. At its core, Zamba uses the Mamba backbone, an SSM known for efficiently processing sequences. But Zamba adds a shared attention module, combining SSM's efficiency with transformer's learning power. This blend is amplified by something called Global Shared Self-Attention, GSA blocks which optimize processing even further. These blocks use shared weights for self-attention and MLP, making the model efficient without adding bulk. The input embeddings also help Zamba maintain context throughout the processing, making this model both clever and powerful. Now for the tech specs, Zamba packs 7 billion parameters and processes sequences up to 4,096 tokens long. 
trained on 128 H100 GPUs for 30 days, Zamba uses advanced techniques like data parallelism and tensor parallelism to handle its vast computations. The training was done in two phases. First, pre-training on 950 billion tokens from open web datasets, and second, fine-tuning on high-quality instruct datasets. This two-phase approach balances broad knowledge with specialized understanding, setting Zamba apart. How does it perform? Zamba competes with leading 7B models, especially in speed and memory efficiency during text generation. It's a solid performer in linguistic evaluations, handling grammar and context well, though it lags slightly in reasoning tasks. Even so, it's pushing the boundaries of hybrid models. Lastly, transparency. The Zamba team has released not just the final model weights, but also all training checkpoints. This open approach invites the AI community to explore and innovate on SSM architectures. It's a bold move that could drive future research and development. Zamba model hugging face page and the official site demo page are linked in the description below. You can test it with your own content. From now on, I wouldn't go through all those benchmark numbers because I don't think those numbers are trustworthy. If you enjoyed this breakdown of Zamba, hit like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about Zamba or SSM architectures? Let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Until next time, see you soon.